What is up my dudes? Today I'm gonna to be showing you version two of my car. I'm super excited. I just got finished unwrapping it and I added some more parts to it. So I wanna show you guys everything that I have done. So let me show you. Ah! Here it is. All right, so to start off, I did wrap it. I have a full wrap front to back, whole shebang. <laughs> it's wrapped in like this purpley pinkish orangish reddish kind of color it kind of shifts a little bit it's not like super mega color shift but it shifts just enough that it like looks really cool in the sun but it looks pretty dark in the shade i think it looks really great um yeah what else did i add okay i also added carbon fiber side skirts which i think look really good i think it ties in the front lip with the side so so far everything that i have done cosmetically is the full color change wrap i have side skirts that are carbon fiber i have my front badges that are also carbon fiber i have my front carbon fiber lip and then i did have canards but i currently only have one because yesterday as i was driving <laughs> the other one fell off <laughs> so i used to have one and then one here but the other one fell off so those are going to be ordered i don't know i'm debating if i should order a new pair of them or should i just keep it just the one canard or should i just get rid of it and like overall i think like the one doesn't look bad i thought that the one was going to look bad but it doesn't look bad i think it just ties it in the lip it doesn't look bad but let me know what you think in the comments and then i blacked out my badges here and yeah i've got the side skirts oh and then also come come with me i added a carbon fiber trunk spoiler which i really like i think this looks way more beefy on the back i think it looks really good and i am going to be adding a carbon fiber diffuser but i don't have it yet so yeah what do you guys think for cosmetics that is what i have done so far but i also worked with striker performance to add some performance modifications to it so let me pop the hood open and i'll tell you guys all about that something weird about bmws is you really have to click it twice in order to get both the things open all right let me show you under the hood baby okay so like i said i worked with striker performance there in fullerton in california they were amazing to work with i am going to do a full in detail video after this showing you guys like the whole process they were super awesome they let me totally like shadow them for the day and like just see everything that they were doing so i have a whole video coming soon of the whole process of everything we did we are also gonna have dyno numbers before after so you guys can see actually how much wheel horsepower i'm pushing it was pretty shocking and really exciting so i'm not gonna reveal all that in this video but coming up i'm currently editing it it'll be right after this video okay getting into everything we did so we are officially full bolt-ons i have intake so i have intakes new intakes i've got charge pipes i also have a down pipe and then we went with an mhd tune i know uh boot mode and mhd are both kind of like bigger ones and then there's also jb4 which i didn't want to do um and yeah we went with MH mhd so far i really like it um but yeah i've had a lot of fun in the car the car feels completely different now that i'm driving it it feels like a different car as soon as i got in the car after changing it like the throttle response was so much faster like it was it was pretty crazy i didn't think it was going to be that big of a difference getting in the car after the performance mods but it feels like a completely different car i feel like i'm having to relearn my car which is really fun because i felt like when i first got my car it was just enough horsepower like i did not need anything else and obviously like over time you get used to it and i felt like i definitely got used to it like within like this past month or two, I was like, you know, I feel like I could push a little more power and I'd be like enjoying that. And so, yeah, we decided to do all this and I definitely feel like now I'm relearning the car. I got to get like more comfortable again in it. And yeah, I'm very much, I go slow with my car. I'm a very safe driver. I don't drive super fast until I feel comfortable with my car. So 
I do want to do some races once I get more comfortable and do everything. I have a friend who has almost exact same modifications as me, but they are manual and I am DCT, so she's six speed. So I think it would be a fun video as well in the future to show you guys like that. And yeah, I also am going to be taking it to Beamer Invasion this coming weekend, which I might run it on the track might might not i don't know i gotta get comfy in my car you know i'm not i'm not somebody who has to be like the fastest out there or like has to prove a point like i just enjoy driving my car a lot and <laughs> i'd rather be safe than sorry so we'll see if i'm comfy by then and then i can do it but if not i do think in the future doing a track day would also be fun but what do you guys think i think it looks really good I think this color looks crazy. I didn't realize how like much attention it would grab. I didn't realize how much it would pop, but it is very loud color, but I think it looks pretty crazy. Let me know what you think. All right, now let's run you through a little montage of the car so you guys can see all of it up close and it looks so good. I hope you guys like it. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the transformation. I mean, I pretty much built it within like the last two weeks and so, let me know what you guys think and here we go, roll the clips. <laughs> 